Okay, and we're live. What's up, Stu? How you doing, man? <laughs> uh, hanging in there, hanging in there. A little stir crazy, but um, this will be fun. Uh, I don't know if you. What a unique, what a unique looking everything this is. I don't think many people have seen uh, one of these breaks. Um, you've seen 85 tops, but not quite like this. Um, I think, um, and this is just me guessing, but 85 production, I think, went into another level. And they went to the back of the warehouse and was like, do we have any old boxes? Because we got to get these out. That's what I think. I mean, these are 1981 boxes that are... Well, isn't that more valuable than... Relabeled. Um, I don't know. I, I mean, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, I got, uh, because I have a collection of these, and I've got a... Um, uh, you must have an insane collection. Like, you keep busting out this crazy wax. <laughs> well, I bought, before I knew any better, and... Um, I bought a, a baseball card exchange wax box designation, which is not from a sealed case. So it will be just like this, which means it could be rummaged, uh, potpourri, you know, everything. Um, and so I still have that. And then I have a, a really nice raw box that I actually believe is sealed from, from a sealed case um, and hasn't been rummaged. Um, and then I had this. And so I, but it didn't match my collection. So that's why I was like, you know, let's rip this for fun yeah, and for charity. It's not, that just seems like a rare thing. I mean, you're but all right, man. Listen, it's your collection. You're you talking to a guy that burned his whole collection. So what do I know? I'm saying. That... Um, I know you're almost trying to talk me out of it, but I'm like, yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Hey, let's do it. Let's have some fun. Um, screw it. All right. I mean, I'll say like I don't know if you're what if you want to explain the rules here, but before you do, I would like to point out that I have my own lottery that you don't even know about, and it's not really a lottery that anybody will win. But uh, if we hit a certain card in the set, that uh, only I will know what card that is. I will showcase and show off to you on camera one of the prized collections from my collection that I will show you if we hit a specific card in this set. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Um, I might be able to guess that actually, but um, there's well, so you know, I, you there's, know, there's just so many choices. <laughs> there's so many great cards. For me, the Doc Gooden is the card, but um, yeah, this is this is actually really simple, and this is really um, be nice and refreshing for change. There's no sponsors to this, so what I'm gonna do, I'm thinking we put them together in three or four lots, and I spin the wheel. Um, I did a, a wheel spin, um, I don't know, a few months ago, and I, and it was really good. So. Um, uh, All right. Yeah, like, you know, I'll put the guys' names on the wheel that have bought into the box and recent breaks and uh, bought into recent breaks and maybe throw you and Foul Ball Paul in there, you know. Huge. Yeah, and uh, we'll see what we get. Well, that's a very nice uh, gesture. I mean, that's like a – probably like up I, – I could see this being in the, in the next year or two a $500 box of cards that you're opening. Right. I mean, you never know. It depends on what happens, I guess – you know, with the Hall of Fame and, you know, everything else. Um, there it is. And they are the right packs. I was actually a little bit nervous. Um, <laughs> Imagine it was like 81 tops. Uh, they're actually, it's about the same price, I think. Um, although I, I'd i rather break 85. Um, yeah, I was like one of the best. This is one of the best top, like, this is like a top five of the era box of cards that you could open is this. I mean... It, yeah, it's definitely one of my favorites. Oh, and by the way, um, I pulled these out to show um, just really quick. Um, another reason to break this is it is the throwback set in 2020. Ah. So here are some. I broke a bunch of blaster boxes last week um, just for fun. Check that out. Yeah, that's nice. Um, and uh, just kind of pulled out some of the 85 tops. Um, uh, a couple are really cool. There's a Johnny Bench. Um, but um, a couple we can actually hit. Hey. It'll be a different picture, and oh, it'll be a different picture, and that's a blue oh, oh. Tony Where's Brown. That? Yeah, I, it's not numbered, um, and I, I think that's that might be worth like thousands. I don't know about thousands, but it's uh, I think it's a little more rare than just the base. I think it's you know just like the parallel. Color. Yeah, it's a blue parallel. So um, anyway, um, a few of those guys we might be able to hit, but uh, I still say that like you know if you were to look at like. I don't know, like 86 Don Ross, 89 Upper Deck, 90 Leaf, 1983 uh, uh, Tops, 84 Don Ross, 85 Tops. I mean, 85 Tops is a – this is a legendary set. Absolutely. Um, 
can't wait to see what's, what comes out of it. You're going to eat some gum or... Wow, the gum is... I mean, the gum really didn't hurt the card at all. It was stuck to it, but... Um, That's uh, gradable. The gum might be gradable. <laughs> that gum's a PSA BGS 9.5. Uh, by the way, I was uh, listening to Gary V. Um, he had a really... That's a rookie card, by the way, right off the top. It is, actually. A little left to right, but um, Mark Langston, rookie. And um, what an entertaining... Oh, my God. There you go. <laughs> off to a... Hot starts. We're shot out of a cannon. Look at that. The doctor is in. The doctor will see you now. Wow. And that was uh, I did. I'm doing these in order. So that was the top pack on the upper left. Um, we, we we would have liked to have known that back in the day. Lamar Hoyt. Warren. That's a great pack. <laughs> it really Lang is. You got to remember that Langston. Uh, that Langston Gooden uh, run to see if that comes again. Boyd and all kidding aside, the good and you know raw is not an expensive card. Try finding it in a PSA ten. I have bid on a few and I just bow out at like a hundred bucks. I'm like, you know, there's so many of those cards, and then I'm like thinking maybe I'll pull one, but um, it, it it you can't get one for less than a hundred bucks. Um, they're closer to two hundred bucks in a PSA ten, um, and that was. Very by the way, it's very hard to get any card from this set in a PSA 10. There's, as you can tell by, just look at those two cards right there. It's a the perfect borders, example. That good, that good is actually not bad, but it's a little crook, crooked. Yeah, but, the, uh, the borders and the printing, there's sometimes little watermarks. Um, there's all kinds, and then of course the edges and everything. Um, but uh, yeah, we're off to a good start. Nice first pack. But that was the original chase card for me. Um, was that Doc Gooden? Because um, these were the first cards that I really opened, um, really towards the tail end of '85. It's when, when I really got into it, and I mean that was the card to get. Kevin Gross, Chip Sundberg, and then Wade Boggs, another nice card back in the day. Hall of Famer. It's, it's got that same weird cut, and um, it got the wax, unfortunately. But uh, that was another hot card back in the day, for sure. The 85 Boggs. Boggsy. Uh, but anyway, the Gary V, uh, he did it about two weeks ago. It's like about two and a half hours long. Like a, you know, like a, you know, Ask Gary little, V cast. A little bit longer than ours. <laughs> yeah. And uh, he took calls, and it was actually pretty interesting. Um, talking about not just baseball. He talked about a lot of baseball, but he talked about ba basketball probably more than anything. Yeah, he loves basketball. He loves basketball cards. Um, but uh, he needs an update to it because, you know, we're not sure what's going to happen with the seasons now. Mike Jones, I thought that was a Sabre again. Tippy Martinez. Underwood. Stanton. Hey, there he is, John Carlos Stanton. <laughs> and there's one of those uh, little watermarks I was telling you about, the little circles of death. Um, and a Keith Hernandez, that's the box card. Hey, box card. Thinking there's already a, a lot that uh, Danny R would like to win. That's actually, like, could be a PSA 10 Keith Hernandez. Like, that's a pretty, that's like at least a nine. Look at that. The centering is not, not bad on that one at all. It's a little tough. Uh, like a, a nitpicky top to bottom. Yeah, and another nitpick is the the printing is just a little um, faded. Yeah, just a little faded compared to the dock. Um, I don't know if the dock is oversaturated or if, if the Hernandez looks pretty normal um, until you compare it with the dock. Um, Dane Nyorg, Krakow, Langford, Nepper. John Wathen, Don Sutton, left to right, he's a Hall of Famer. Tim Tuffle, Mike Madden, Johnny Lamaster. Oh, what's going on with Johnny Lamaster? He looks like he has like a, a artificial butt or some something going on with him. I don't know if he's he's wearing his batting gloves, so it's not that. Maybe it's like, chewing tobacco. He's like a, no, like, I'm talking, he's like a cushion in his ass. 
That's what I'm saying. Like chewing tobacco, maybe like his pouch of chewing tobacco. Um, Is he wearing a diaper? We used to do that with our batting gloves, so it'd save you on a slide a little bit. Um, uh, but, Something's uh, going on there. He's maybe got back. Yeah, or <laughs> or he knew about squats back in the day, and he was you know he's done a lot of glute workouts. There's the people's hey. manager guard. Smiling because the Reds covered that day. <laughs> oh, poor Pete Rose. By the way, uh, for a hundred bucks, he'll smile and take a photo with you at Caesar's Palace when all this, the uh, smoke clears from all of this nonsense. Is he like doing like a residency there or what? He he's there every day in like the Caesar's Palace Forum. Hey, there's the kid, Gary Carter. Um... That's right. Um, oh, it's a traded card. He actually does have an 85 Tops Mets card, but it's in the traded set, um, which is not a big set because there's not a lot of chase cards in it. But uh, um, Gary Carter fans, he does have an, an, a Mets 85 Tops card. And there are Gary Carter fans. Absolutely. Um, I'm one of them. I have a couple of packs of that, but I'm definitely not going to rip that. Um, uh, it's one of the only traded series of the 80s. Um, that uh, was released in packs, um, 85 top straight. But I think Vince Coleman is the only like hot rookie. Um, Wait, 85 top straight was in packs? Yes, yes. Interesting. Um, yeah, it's. It, it, so it, that must mean that there's like 10 billion Dwight Goodens out there. Um, well, no, he he wouldn't be in the traded set. Um, well, it was, it was just that set. It wasn't like mixed in with the regular series. I don't think so. Um, I have a couple packs. Um, as a matter of fact, hang on, it's right here. Definitely not gonna break it, but um, so eight cards and one stick of gum. Um, wow, that's pretty cool. I never even seen that. But uh, Vince Coleman. Uh, you know, there's a few traded cards like Gary Carter, but the only um, rookies, uh, Vince Coleman, I think, is oh, Ozzy Guillen, I think. Also. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, those are really the only two. So, uh... <laughs> crazy. Probably horse. like a Ricky Ricky Henderson on the Yankees card. Yeah, and that's it. You, I think you're right. Um, there's a there. I'm, I mean, it's a cool set. I, I'd love to go through it, but yeah. Um... Just cheaper just to buy a set and just break it and just go through it. That pack's pretty cool, though. Greg Booker. Yeah, from the Baseball Card Exchange, so I know it's legit. Um, Burt Blylevin. Carney Lansford. Steve Garvey, record breaker. Record breaker for having the most kids. <laughs> and what was it for real? Most consecutive airless games. Okay. Hey, right. there you go. First baseman. If you got accurate throwers, that's not... It's not like a shortstop... Uh, um, there, the uh, Doc Gooden record breaker in a PSA 10 is like the lowest pop ever. This is always off cut for whatever reason. Um, that Dwight Gooden record breaker card. You remember that card? Yeah, um, of course. Uh, and um, yeah, it's impossible to find in a PSA 10. It's highly prized. Right. So, what do you think is the card that uh, the the stuff now that everyone's overlooking? Like Gary V speculates, uh, Tom Seaver on the White Sox. Tom Seaver's like, how many teams was Tom Seaver on before he was done? I don't think Gary V's speculating anything on Tom Seaver necessarily. <laughs> no, um, he's talking about you know. Listen, he's saying things that like logic would dictate that he's correct. Like Michael Jordan rookie cards will be sought after. You know, Re Reggie Miller, uh, Magic Johnson, Larry Bird. These are cards that it's like a bear market for. If you've got the money, you could pick those cards up. He's even talking about speculating on nice. LeBron James or Giannis, uh, however you say his last name. You know what I mean? Luca. yeah. He's not, he's, not, he's not wrong, but, uh, you know, he is. if you need him to tell you that, then... I like his um, – when he's, he's going through and see what your opinion is uh, on the um, Sleepless Pete Rose. Um, he was talking about PSA versus BGS and then talking about SGC, which is kind of like the, the new guy. But he was asking people um, – he held up all three holders, just random people that aren't really into cards. And um, which one do you like better? Everyone, 100% liked the SGC with the black, you know. 
You've probably seen yeah. those. Um, they're, they're... Well, I'll tell you, when I was doing our movie, we actually went to Beckett's headquarters, and this didn't make it in the cut, but we did a whole section where I interviewed them about grading, and wow. I was really impressed by what they were doing there, to be honest with you. I, and it uh, seemed like legit to me. Like the, It was like Fort Knox to get into their grading room. Right. Um, it's, it's it seemed very much on the up and up from what I saw. And now I'm sure there's right. if you dig deep enough in any company, you're going to find some problems. And but uh, you know, I think it's been well established that there's a couple bad apples in the baseball card uh, industry. But I'm not going to let them soil the whole bunch. I think overall, I would give a very high score to what I saw with my own eyes at uh, over at Beckett. Yeah, the team there. I think really nice. To, they were nice to me. They were not trying to hide anything, and they were seem to take their job very seriously so I, I thought it was I would give it uh, my 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 endorsement I would give to, to Beckett grading of course I have PSA graded cards so I'm just like you know everybody else but uh, there's definitely listen if you're a high-end collector the type of stuff that I have in my collection nobody is trimming <laughs> so I don't have to worry about it yeah I don't think actually any of the trimming stuff went to, you know, Beckett. I think it was all through PSA. Um, well, Beckett, there were some issues I read where, like, people there? were replacing patches in cards and resubmitting them or some shit like that. But, uh, you know, I don't collect those cards anyway, so that does not affect me in any way. Uh, the cards that I collect, which are from the era that you are currently opening, you know, it's pretty safe. Uh, you know, for guys our age to collect, to re reacquire the collections we always wanted as we were a kid – most of them are you're pretty safe. I mean, outside of a Jordan rookie or a Gretzky rookie, the rest of the cards are probably kosher. <laughs> right, right. Um, we haven't seen a Team USA card, by the way, yet. That's a nice card of the straw. The strawberry. That is um, – uh, I have to break out the other one. That's Is that the same at bat? Um, it's really close. i got to look at that. Bob Welch. Dave Parker. It's like – Ben Slyke, taking your card? Not a rookie. Not a rookie. No, Herbeck. Um, there would have been a hot card at one time, though, when he was dialing up with the Pirates. Hey! There's one of our chase cards for real. Woo! Nice printing. The, the cut isn't perfect, but really nice printing on it. Ted Power. Huge pull. It is actually. I, oh, is, is the Maguire? Uh, I'm not actually sure. I didn't actually look at the Beckett. Um, I think he's right there with the Maguire. It might be... It might be the um, highest value, though. Well, he's the only Hall of Famer. The only Hall of Famer. Not rookie glass. That's a great card. Wow, look at your first stack. Like, you have been so cold over the last six months. <laughs> and here you are busting out your first and second stack. We've had high. Crushing, it was actually, crushing 85 cups. Yeah, it was actually the first uh, pack in the um, the second stack. So the first so pack, the hot, the hot pack is the top pack. The top pack. Um, so Same check that out. Bat. It is. Oh no, it's not. Batting gloves are different, aren't they? Yeah, and the wristband's different. Wow, look how similar his swing is, though. Yeah. Yeah, he's also wearing like an undershirt and one, and he's not in the other. They really tried to and, find a similar picture. And like, and like the Mets in the new card, the Mets are a registered trademark, and they are not in 1985. Yeah, they used a different, uh, little different logo. Uh, no, I'm saying like even the word Mets has like a little copyright on the new one. Oh yeah, I, I see that. Um, you'd think they would have it back then, right? Or was it? I don't know. Stay tuned. Frank Tanana. D Detroit Tigers, Frank Tanana. I think so. Bruce Benedict. Garth Orge, brother of Dane Orge, by the way, who you pulled earlier. So you could have done a an Orge Orge, an Orgy. That could have been an Orgy. If you get both. Oh, we'll have to do that again if we do like eighty six or eighty four. If, if you both get in. the Orge brothers, you. Win. <laughs> Tim Lawler, Yogi Berra, manager card. He managed the Yankees for about five minutes. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't actually even remember him managing the Yankees. So that was he, did he manage in eighty five or just eighty four? I mean, it was like in between like firing and rehiring, uh, whatever his name is. Billy Martin? Yeah. Billy Martin like had to go to rehab for one year or something. <laughs> right. All right. 
Dan Spilner takes the gum, although the gum is really not harming the cards, i got to say. Did we confirm Frank Tanana was on the Tigers there? I think we did. No need to look. I think so. Reggie. There's Reggie. Nice. On set right there, we're getting ready to kill the queen. He looks like, that looks like uh, right around the time Naked Gun would have filmed. Yeah, probably just a little before Terry Francona. Manager of champions. That's right. He's in the Hall of Fame as a manager. Dusty Baker again. Look at that. It's the manager pack. Look at all these managers. Pat Corrales, yeah. Oh, wow. This is the manager's pack. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, literally, like every other player turned out to be a manager. It's either a manager card or turned out to be a manager. All right, Al Chambers draft pick on the back, and then Joe Carter takes the gum. Let's take a little bit that's of a, thing. That's a rookie card. That's a first tops card. First tops card. You're right. Um, his, uh, hey, there's a Ricky card. A Ricky um, all-star card. Dale Murphy. D Just a little bit low. Left to right is actually nice on it. Trevino, Joe Carter. That's a Joe Carter top rookie. Hedy Murray. Look at that stash. Wow. Yeah, like connects to his hair and Murray busting out the crazy facials. There's the captain, Willie Randolph. Willie Randolph? Cal Ripken? Look at all these Hall of Famers in this pack. Buckner? Phil Bradley? Possibly a rookie card on Phil Bradley? Um, you might be right. I think it is, actually. Um, uh, he was in 83, but um, I don't believe he got a card. Um, let's see these cards. Uh, those are, that's a nice little lot, actually. Um, I think we, I, I'll put together lots, and I'll do, do a, I'll spin the wheel in another video. Maybe, like, one of the big rookies and, like, five sleeve cards. You know, something like that. Um, and then, like, see if I can put together maybe, like, at this point, maybe like five lots and spin the wheel for him. I think that like at some point you're going to have to move that Kirby bucket into a, a uh, one touch. Um, yeah, I should actually. I should. Uh, I should have already done give it. it. You know, we've 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 talked about this in the past. Uh, having respect for certain cards. I know. I, I need to like. Um... I mean, I know in that baseball card shop collection of yours, you must have a case of one touches there. There's a whole stack of them right here. Uh, you know, if you happen to pull a Big Mac, that's going in a one touch. And if you know, depending on the respect you have for good in that, I mean, there's other cards coming. Bucket deserves it. The um, yeah, the Gooden was so. I mean, if that Gooden was a um, slab candidate, I would have for sure. But um, yeah, let's do that. Let's we're gonna do that with uh, Clemens McGuire um, for sure. Um, and if. Whew. If I get a perfectly centered good and I'm, uh, that may not make it to the um, that may not make it to the raffle to, to the spin with the wheel spin that's right Puckett is not bad actually that's a nice that's a sweet card yeah it's gonna look so much better once you put it in here it's just psychologically gonna feel better the um, look at that that's just so much better the printing is perfect the edges are perfect it's just a little left to right um, nice card though wow yeah, and then we get to look at the the dock again. <laughs> All right, um, we're doing pretty good for a stack and a half. Um, All right, Steve Clymer and Oil Cam was on the back. Scott Sanderson. Up. Oh, hey, Eric Davis. That was a big card. That was like a twenty dollar card, maybe in its height. It was. Probably the biggest card in the set, right there with Puckett um, back then. Puckett and, and Gooden, of course. Tom Brickens. Twenty dollars for a baseball card in like 1986, 87 is like the equivalent of like $200 now. Yeah, these cards were like the like the Lucas and the Zions now. Yeah. Raw cards. And not the Red Sox we want. Um, Dennis Boyd. Also known. Affectionately as, known as Oil Can. Oil Can, and actually got it. Uh, He's known on his cards as Oil Can, I think from here on out. Um, um, actually, I think he already was in Fleer. I think Topps was the holdout. I think Topps was the last one to call him Oil Can on his card. Oil Can Boyd. All right. 
<laughs> Negro. Phil Negro would go on to have ten more seasons after this. Did he ever look young? Like I don't know. I don't remember. Gary Carter. Always smiling. Always Gary happy. Carter. Never had a bad day. Bailey, Larry McWilliams. Tom Gorman, Lonnie Smith, Joe Necro. Oh, that's like a lottery right there. The Necro brothers in the same pack. We've done that before, actually. That's right. Um, uh, Vance Law, Tabelli, Ken Phelps, Mr. Total Average, and Daryl Motley. A nice little stack brewing over here. Necro brothers, both in the same pack. The Necro pack. Joe, Joe Necro actually looks, you know, kind of young there. Um, oh, we got a, our first. Is that our first one? Yes. Wow. Um, we should guess who it's going to be. Um, like Ota B. Mc, McDowell. <laughs> it's kind of hard. It's uh, Billy, Billy Swift. You know, I almost want to say the manager. Um, that's like the worst one. I know, I, but the way the that's what it looks like almost. Uh, Jack Morris. It's it's one of the outdoors ones. Uh, not oh. hey rookie card rookie card. Persizer. It's definitely um, got that little left that was right like, going. That was that was like an eighteen dollar card at one point. Yeah, that was definitely one of the better rookies. Um, it is the manager. Yep, it is the manager. Tony Gwynn All Star. Dave Schmidt. Let's see if we can get some more uh, USA cards going. Altonano. Wallach, Nettles, and Filson. So at this rate, um, this pack and this pack will have uh, McGuire and uh, Clemens, maybe? <laughs> yeah. I believe. Jeff Leonard. The Hackman. Is on the back. Mike Davis. Pedro Guerrero. Alan Trammell. There's a Hall of Famer. Hall of Famer. Absolutely. Pedro, is Pedro Guerrero a Hall of Famer? He played forever. No. He had some big numbers. Um, there's a funny um, YouTube scene of uh, Pedro Guerrero and David Cohn almost getting into it over a curveball. Oh. Uh, yeah, David Cohn threw one that was kind of brush brushing him off the plate a little bit. And, um, like, Pedro just, like, stared him down. And so the next one was even higher and tighter, but it was a curveball, right? And um, he slung the bat at the mound and, like, walked out. And, like, David Cohn is not backing down. He's yelling at him. It's a curveball, dude. Relax. I would be afraid of, of Pedro Guerrero. Yes. Well, yeah. I mean, he is he, – he, he didn't charge the mound. He threw the bat, and then he kind of slow walked. Like, you know, everybody <laughs> know that I'm mad. But he really didn't want to get at him. It was – I don't know. You would be hard-pressed to find somebody who has had a better postseason – than Oral Hershiser in 1988. 1988, he was unhittable. He set records, didn't he? I think there was a, some kind of record that he broke or set. Um, scoreless innings or something. Consecutive scoreless innings, I, I believe. Um, uh, absolutely. He was un... He's, I mean, you know, everyone is going to remember it for Kirk Gibson, and rightly so, but um, Hershiser and Belcher and those guys, uh, they shut down the Bass Brothers. Uh, it was a... Um, Pitching duel more than anything. Doyle Alexander. Nolan Ryan. Nice. Hey. Again, a little left to right. So I said PSA 10s from this set are almost impossible to come by. We haven't pulled one yet, I don't believe. Uh, maybe one of the common guys. Um, like the Greg Luzinski has nice left to right. A little bit low. <laughs> <laughs> right? Charlie Huff. Chilling. In the bullpen there. Dick Schofield. Mike Sosha. Playing the game the right way there, Sosha digging in with yeah. grit, ready to make a play. He was uh, he was all about it. He um, what was that there? He's already got the ball. He's looking to the outfield. Maybe the runner never made it. Did rounded third and got held up is what happened. Um, Gary Lucas, Zahn, and Little. All right, sleeve this Ryan. It's actually this Ryan and the Ripken. Um, Stacked. Yeah, we talk about the uh, we talk about the rookie cards, but um, a lot of cards like that have some value to Mattingly. Um, all right, so um, <laughs> yeah, it's, we all we almost should save this top pack, but um, 
let's keep our uh, top pack streak. Yeah, let's just keep it going. Let's see if we can hit something else. And gum didn't even stick. Nice. Seems like the gum sticks more the deeper you go in the box, um, for whatever reason. Maybe the pressure of the cards. Um, Joe Nolan, Sanchez, Quisenberry. We saw his all-star card. I think we saw his regular card. Uh, Clark, Stino, Leslie, Mark Thurmond. And the streak will come to a close. Walk and fuss. I thought uh, Saberhagen was maybe going to weekly uh, bail us out of that, but he did not. All right, so there it is. <laughs> All good things must come to an end. Uh, we got a uh, we got a bunch of packs left though. We still got to hit. Um, we got to get some more USA cards going. Nope. Oh, just when I say it. Don August. <laughs> is that him? <laughs> it was a dugout guy. <laughs> it was one of the dugout guys. Unfortunately, um, it wasn't outdoors. You want outdoors. Tug McGraw, father of Tim McGraw. That's right. Look at the mullet he's got. Got rolling. Oops, I got to watch where I'm holding this. That's right. Tug of all trades. Sid Bream. Bounced around a bunch. He was an Astro, then a Brave. Um, I actually went to a Braves Dodgers game where he had a grand slam right in front of me. Um, I want to say like 91. He must. He was with the Braves, I believe. Kachiki. George Foster. And Dave Henderson. John Hoover. Nope. There's Tim Pelcher, draft pick. Drafted by the Twins, and he's got an A's uniform, and he was the A killer in uh, 88 along with Hershiser. Dower and Burroughs. So far, this stack is ice cold. Yeah. You gotta, um... I'm going to mark that second from the bottom pack. That's going to be a big pack. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We've done that before, and it's... Um... And I, it never hits. It's mildly hit a couple of times. It's never hit a home run, but you've, you've gotten up. There's another USA oh, card. Uh, wait, wait. Let's see that you... Uh, oh, to be McDowell. <laughs> wow, look at the cut on that David Green. David Beautiful. Green is a little bit low, yeah. Dave Palmer... Lynn Whitehouse, Tom Hume. Always looking cr Those glasses. I don't know why he needed such large lenses. <laughs> Not thick, just like... Large. Just yeah, too big for his face. Everyone, it's so big. Ridiculous. Speaking... <laughs> wow, that's an awful picture. Uh, he, he almost looks like one of the... like. Uh, He's uh, on drugs. Look at him. He looks like one of the criminals in Cobra with Stallone. Oh, for sure. He looks He's like, just like a criminal in general. Like that's like a photo of like a. If you're watching Dateline and they're like zoom, they show a picture of like the killer. It's so bad. <laughs> Poor Fred Bernie, Rick Dempsey, and uh, Don uh, August. <laughs> it is Mike Doon. Oh, Mike Doon. He had a. He, maybe play, he probably pitched like 10 times. He he was in the majors, for sure. He has a major league yeah. card, but... Uh, yeah. I remember him from, my, I think, like the Mariners, or... I don't remember. Daryl Evans, Bob Baylor, and Roy Smith. So, so far, our USA cards have... At least we're hitting a few more, though. Um, this is a horrible stack. But so far, this stack is ice cold. Ted Simmons. Steve Bedrosian. Hey, Lynn. nice card. I have that card with that same centering, but autographed. Oh, nice, really? Yeah, but I don't know if the autograph's real. Denny Walling like, was. Bought, I, I bought it at a card show, so who knows? Randy Johnson. Not the pitcher. A couple of these had a little, little. Uh, Tops Tiffany spilled into the machine. <laughs> That'd be nice. Floyd Rayford, Danny Heap. Steve Trout? Hey. Maybe that'll, that'll break our bad luck streak. Hitting Mr. Trout. Larry Boa. Ernie Camacho. Ozzie Smith. And there's Ted Simmons. You could always... Uh, Hall of Famer Ted Simmons? Is he? I, he was on the ballot. He, I think he might be right, I actually. Thought 
I think he got in as a for some reason. I want to say, I want to say Larry Walker and Ted Simmons got in. I think you're right. Yeah. <laughs> like Mattingly didn't get in, but Ted Simmons did. I know. Dale Murphy didn't get in, but Ted Simmons did. I mean, Dale Murphy has to that get in. Win, that win, I have the same card with the same cut. It's crazy. Um, I wonder if it's all cut like that. Yeah, you should send it in, by the way, um, just to get it authenticated. To, like Beckett. Like... I don't want to know. I don't want the bad news. I'm just going to display it proudly as it as what I believe it to be as real. Because I did my own little checking and look good to me. If it looks good to you. That's all that matters. John Denny. Bob Ojeda. Went to the Mets right after that. Dave Stewart. Stewart was on the Rangers? I have no memory of that. Man, he bounced around for a while before he found his groove with uh, the A's. Well, there's a whole story. I'm not going to bring it up, but people can feel free to do a deep dive on why Dave Stewart left the Dodgers to begin with. But uh, it's an interesting story. Is it? Yeah. Possibly could make a great Netflix documentary someday. Not by me, but I'm just saying in general. There it is. Good. What did I say about the centering on this card? It's no good. That's how I feel about the Gwyn. It's like the same as the one I have. That's brutal. It's that's how these all are. It's it is so impossible to find this card in a PSA ten with perfect centering. Um, Hargrove Backman and Eddie Whitson. This is a horrible sack. So yeah, I want to look into that now. Dave Stewart leaving the Dodgers. Um, well, why did he leave the Dodgers? Well, you should do a little deep digging. But apparently, uh, you know. So he was living like a double life of sorts, let's just say. Okay. That's interesting. Speaking of um, Netflix, Netflix uh, documentaries, <laughs> you are, I have to give you credit because you're the first person that I saw mention uh, Tiger. Tiger King. Oh, my gosh. And now and, – and within 24 hours, like half my news feed was about it. But I was on – I got to be on the first wave of it because, thanks to you. So You're welcome. Robin Yao. Look at that horrible cut. Really bad cut there. Go Jacoby. Rookie card. It is, actually. Nice. It's, I mean, that might be our best centered card, actually. I also don't know of any other breaker on the web that's like pulling Brooke Jacoby rookie cards either, so props to us. There's Odeby. Ooh, Oda. Is that Odeby? That's Odeby. <laughs> I could have done a slow reveal because of the outside, but yes, Odeby. Odeby yeah. McDowell has a card, and Will Clark does not. Let that register. Although Odeby had a couple of productive seasons in the in the uh, in the in the majors, playing for the Texas Rangers, I believe, maybe even for the Cleveland Indians for a cup of coffee. It was but one Odeby of the had a productive. He had a productive career. Not not nothing bad, nothing great, but definitely played five six seasons. A lot of guys speculated on him, and that was one of the hot cards in the set, actually. Um, you know, behind you know the the other guys, but as far as the USA set, um, but yeah, this Brooke Jacoby, I'm sleeving it mainly because it's our, it's one of our only like slab candidates. Like, what happens if like there's a huge uh, Brooke Jacoby super collector out there? That they like that is a perfectly centered, almost perfectly centered. It might be a little left to right now that I'm examining it. Um, it's one of our better cuts, though. <laughs> I know. Uh, sometimes we sleeve some weird cards. And then, you know, Hall of Famers like Tom Seaver. Yeah, we're just blowing right by him. We're not even sleeving him. We show respect to Brooke Jacoby rookie cards. I know. Steve Trout sleeve, for God's sake. Yeah, why not? Oscar that's, Gamble. That, that's, what, that's what makes uh, this a unique uh, combination. You know, we show respect. Al Holland from the Holland Tunnel. Oh, yes. Bob Forgot Weber. about that. Oh, he snuck up on wow. us. Al Faro. Alfaro doing the same pose as Odeby McDowell. They were like, see what Odeby did? Now you do it. <laughs> yeah. it Can you put that next to the Odeby? Can we just compare? It is literally the exact same. Uh, Brooke is uh, blocking him. It is literally the exact same pose. Okay, guys. Can you both just do the same exact pose? Who wore it, who wore it best? <laughs> That's awesome. I would say Odeby McDowell wore it best. George Brett? That's nice. Uh, top to bottom. Yeah, it's a little low. Um, if we get, if we get it right one way, <laughs> then they they throw something else in a watermark, top to bottom. 
It's alright. I want to... I like the challenge, but uh, yeah, this this is a challenging set, um, for sure, condition-wise. It's like a Flavio Alfa Alfaro. Yeah, I don't remember him at all. I don't know if he... Even... I, don't, I have no memory of Flavio Alfaro. I don't know if he made the majors or not. Um, little printing line right there. Um, all right, here's your, your hot pack. Um, Here it is, guys. This is going to be the pack that's going to be the pack of all packs. There will be something sleeved. We have a, a Nolan Ryan Express on the back. Guaranteed. Oh, He's so close. snuck right up on us. John Marzano. I uh, believe played for the Red Sox at some point. George catcher, I want to say. Yes, catcher. Rick Camp. Yeah, I don't remember him. Um, Jim Clancy. Mark Davis. Nolan Ryan, that's sleevable for sure. It's also left to right like the... Uh, most of our uh, good cards. What an awful pack. I'm sorry, everybody. Hodge. Look at the size of the glove on that guy. <laughs> He's got an intense look, too. Look at the size of his forehead, too. With the Cruz. Andre Dawson. Hey, that's fine. Yeah, there you go. I'll take it. We'll just leave a couple cards. Two Hall of Famers there. Sorry, guys. Not a hot pack. It wasn't the hottest, but um, the Hawk and um, the Ryan Express. Most strikeouts lifetime. He set it in 1985 and pitched for 10 more years. I don't think anyone's ever breaking that strikeout record. No, I agree. It's like the Steels record. It'll, you know, if you're looking for Gary V, like his 80% investments, Henderson, Nolan Ryan, those two uh, records are not being broken. Oh, these guys, we're, I mean, we're deep diving into the USA team. I don't even remember this guy. Gary. Gary Green, he played for a second. I want to say maybe Milwaukee Brewers or something, but he he did he he didn't nothing special. Bobby Brown, famous uh, musician and commissioner. Yeah. Every little step. Uh, Mike Moore, Greg Brock. Oh, nice. That's actually a. All kidding aside, try try buying that in a PSA ten. So, I mean, listen, we've discussed it. PSA 10 in this set is next to impossible it's, to acquire. It's a $100 card or more. Um, you're not going to find one for uh, a PSA 10 of that card um, cheaply. Um, Mike Fitzgerald. Yeah. See, if the, if the left to right is good, it's a little low. Man, they just weren't good at the quality control when they That th Gary Gaetti looks like a 10. <laughs> it's a little, it is a little. No, left to right. A little left to right. Um, but uh, they just threw the sheets on there. They were like, just throw them in. Willie Wilson. Oh, I've got a – I actually have a um, – I'm going to see that. Um, I doubt anyone wants that anyway for myself. I've got a buyback of that card autographed um, that was in a tops pack that I pulled. Um, that was a buyback auto. Um, Willie Wilson was, uh, for a couple years in a row, like the best leadoff player in baseball. Somehow I believe he ended up on the uh, Oakland A's – where obviously he was no longer the leadoff man because uh, Ricky Henderson was there, but they had Ricky Henderson and Willie Wilson a good one-two punch. Look at his look at his 1980 season, 230 hits. Wow. Uh, 79 stolen bases. Are you kidding me? Jeez. Um, how many runs? 133 runs. Solid player. He was the leadoff player of the year that year. I'm sure. World Series champion uh, two times, uh, maybe three-time World Series champion. The Ripken. Will the Wilson have three rings? Um, that's a good question. I know he has. I know he has one. Um, Didn't the Royals win it twice? Did they win it in? Um, Maybe they didn't win it twice. I know this was the year. They, you know they won it. Obviously, eighty-five. Um, they beat the Cardinals. Um, all right. So we're into our our final stack. We've got uh, we've got some cards to hit in this stack. I'm hoping that it's going to be. Um, Top pack, baby. Let's go. See, this would normally be like Roger M's stack. And he, he a lot of times he gets the lower right. And he, he does bail us out a lot. So, um, This is for you, Roger. Yeah, Roger M. We're thinking about you, buddy. We're trying to channel some of your uh, some of your luck here in this final stack. We start off with a checklist. That is actually good luck sometimes. Um, Ed Lynch with the... Hershiser pose. Huh. 
Zorka, Dale Thomas, Buddy Bell. A few years past his uh, expiry date. Yeah, his his prime I think was the early '80s. He actually was a like an all-star for a couple years there. Ken Schramm, Ray Knight. Um, uh, was he the World Series MVP? He was uh, like he he was a really good postseason player in '86. The next year, I think he might have been the World Series MVP, and um, I'm sure probably Manager of the Year in '86. And there's Don Baylor. How many teams did Don Baylor play for? You think? Uh, he got hit by the most pitches. That that much we know. Hit by the most pitches and probably has that record on a few different teams. Yeah. Oh, what would have happened this season in 85 is when Baylor would have set the record for that big ouch card. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Because it's, it's 86 Fleer. That's right. 86 Fleer ouch? Yes. All right. Roy Smalley. Dave Beard. Ron Hassel. Ironically, look at that. David Beard. And he's clean shaven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All the things. Balboni. Bye bye Balboni with the high elbows. Bobby Ramos with the singular eyebrow. The unibrow. He was making it. He, he, that that kind of looks like uh, 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 Anthony Davis a little bit. Let's look at that. <laughs> yeah. A little bit. And there's Tim Foley. Uh, crazy okay. Horse. Yeah. There's the Kirby Puckett pose. George Fraser. Joe Torrey. Jeff Stone. Tony Fernandez. Hey, Rest in peace. Oh, is that that's not a rookie card, is it? I don't think so. I think he has eighty. Is eighty four Don Russ? Hall of Famer Rod Grew, not even mentioned, just t- t- tossed yeah. aside like a piece of trash. He has the he has the wax card, but I like the uh, um, the helmet ha- hair that he has. Uh, uh, we'll sleeve him just for, for the helmet hair. And the I think that is that Tony Fernandez a rookie card? I I wanted to say that he had a. 84 Donruss rated rookie, but I is it 85 Donruss eight rated rookie? 84. Let me look it up. Hold on. Yeah, look at see, see if it anyway due to his untimely death. See if he has an 84 uh, Donruss because he has he. he Hold was, on, I'm just gonna look up Tony Fernandez tops rookie. That's what I believe we're looking at here. He was up in 83 and down in 84 and then back up 85, but. Tony Fernandez' tops rookie card is 1985. Yeah, nice. Now, the next question, does he have an 84 Donruss? No, but he has an 84. Whoa. Hmm. He has an 84 tops, but it might be a tops traded. Okay. Raleigh fingers up. We got a USA. In a slamp, it's a dugout. It's one of the dugout guys, unfortunately. See the dugout behind him, I think, right? Yeah. Sid Akins. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah, that's his, his rookie. That is Tony Fernandez's his rookie card for tops. Corbin Thomas. Someone made an 84 tops Tony Fernandez card as like a fan fiction type of thing like somebody made one a custom oh really but uh not the real thing it doesn't say micro machines it's not the real thing bob jones up say reagan we haven't seen nice that one rookie card and fellow instagrammer I'm telling him, oh yeah that's right you said to follow him and i always forget oh i mean he'll write you back move on too Saber again is actually left to whenever we hit the left to right nice, it's top to bottom. Look at look at this like rookie class though. It's like at the time you're looking at the best players in baseball, like are all in this set. Um, this was just an incredible set. Um, yeah, Saber Hagen was rookie of the year and then he was World Series MVP. Um, oh, he was the man. Kirk Gibson? Jimmy Key. Rookie card. Rookie card. Is it? Yeah. Definitely see that. Spondy. Larry Milborn. Randy Bush. Bobby Castillo. On the gray. Strong. Uh oh. Another Ray Knight. 
We haven't seen too many. Um, we've seen that. We've seen this pack before, the last little yeah. run of it. Um, but uh, we didn't see a Saberhagen in a. Generally uh, speaking, that was pretty pretty well collated. It hasn't been bad. Um, all right, all right. So we got five packs. Um, we got like five cards we want to hit. <laughs> Why is there wax stains on the front card? Um, well, I'm opening. I'm opening them backwards. So, the wax is the gum. Oh, 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 right, 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 right. The right. gum's on the front. Um, yeah, 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 got it. The gum's been pretty good, um, but uh, we do have one wax card per pack. Um, I mean, the the experts will tell you if you're really PSA hunting, then you want to get vending boxes. Um, uh, they're the best bang for your buck. Not the wax boxes, but these are just funner, more fun to open. Bobby Meacham, Scott Thompson with one T. Uh oh. Yep. This is the exact same run we just saw. We saw the hey. second half of this with the uh, the Fernandez, and that's actually a little bit better condition. Hey, maybe the Rod Cruz in better condition. No, it's uh, it was the wax card, unfortunately. Again. If anyone wanted to uh, buy a lot, get a lot of Tony Fernandez cards, you've got a lot of two. And see. Uh, a little bit of a miswrap there. That's why, and this, you know, this is a sealed case, so or from a sealed case, so. Always, so they say. I always uh, tell these guys not to worry so much if you see a, because some of the jabs comments when he's ripping it, like if anything is wrong with the pack, oh this, and it's like I've opened from a sealed case before, and sometimes you just get crazy miswraps. Um, uh oh, Lisinski. Uh -oh. Yeah, we've seen some of these guys. Yeah, yeah. Was it in the pocket pack? I don't think so. No. It was recently. Rudy Law, Joe Price, oh, Saber Hagen, it was that recently, <laughs> and Winfield All-Star. All right. Did you know Brett Saber Hagen, he won the uh, Cy Young and the World Series MVP? <laughs> and he writes back to you on Instagram. Good, good Instagram follow. If anyone wanted a lot of Brett Saber Hagen's, you could send them to him through Instagram to get signed. Well, it looks like our, our lots to spin the wheel with are going to maybe not have so many rookie anchors, and they're going to have maybe some... Uh, Tony Fernandez anchors. Yeah. <laughs> some uh, Blue Jays uh, stars. Um, Darwin. I don't think we've seen, actually, these guys. Have we? Yeah, we have. Have we? Yeah, we know these guys. Kevin Bass. Al Nipper. Jim Gott, Lynn Jones, Dale Barra. All right, two packs to go. Should I just show my prize possession either way, or just like maybe we're going to do another 85 tops like a year from now? No, we want, we want you to show, show it at, at our last pack if we don't hit it, for sure. I think I, I actually think I know what it is. Um, it's pretty, it should be pretty obvious. Tim Wallach, a little low. Greg Nettles, we've, we've seen that run. Slayton, Pally Rulo. I don't think we saw the Candyman card. He's feeling good that day. It looks like, looks like uh, the Candyman has been dipping in the candy. I mean, he's feeling great that day. Look he, at that picture. Jeez. He was... Uh, Sauce. I think the Pirates were all having fun. Yeah, it looks like Cicillo Guante may have spiked the punch. <laughs> they were all having fun before they went out. Mike Schmidt, a little left to right. Um, so that was a new card. We haven't seen Mike Schmidt before. We haven't seen Kevin Chapman. And there's Mike Witt. So maybe our, uh, we'll see a few new cards in this. That's pretty good, hitting a Schmidt and a Witt in the same, like Mike Schmidt, Mike Witt. That's pretty hard to do. Yeah, maybe we'll do a uh, doc Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss Lotto one day, yeah. If you can hear that. rhyme? Like, you know, four names that rhyme in the same pack. Um here we go, folks. This is the moment of truth. Although, arguably, we've already hit what we want to hit, which is Kirby Puckett. We're still looking for a couple more chasers. We hit the best card, which, but... Uh, which means that we're going to still be looking maybe at a future 85 tops break down the road. Uh, we cannot check this off our bucket list as something that we've, like, destroyed. We haven't... Um, yeah, we haven't wore it out, for sure. Daryl Motley. We saw that first half. Let's see if we can... Uh... 
change it up at the... Here we go. Much like the time we pulled that Griffey in the last pack. In the break. Ricky Nelson. Here we go. Joe Cowley? Did we see him? We don't know these guys. Ricky Horton? Yeah, we just got Ricky Horton. Here's a who recently. Vaughn Hayes we've seen for sure. Vaughn Hayes. John Franco maybe we haven't seen. I saw the Red Sox. Yeah. Oh, boy. And we did not. Paul Molitor. There's a... And there's Vance Law feeling super happy with clean glasses. Um, and, uh, yeah, so um, we had a couple well, of nice you, rookies. Lucky for you, you uh, you did get to only – you only had to use one one touch this time, which is fine. Yeah, the good and um, – yeah, The good and arguably could be put in one just because. Just because. The printing is good. There's no watermarks on it. Um, really sure. It's more, that, it's more than a little left, right? What's the baseball trivia quiz on the card? Um, what does ERA stand for? Um, uh, earned run average. Yeah, this was uh, this was uh, this was the card, guys. This was the original chase card for me. Doc Gooden. Um, the first uh, one of these I actually got was in '86, and I traded a kid named Eric um, for. Uh, he had multiples of these. He had like three or four, but he was all about Mattingly, and I mean, he would bring in a Mattingly binder every day. And he had never seen the red Don Mattingly 86 box card. Oh. You remember that? Yeah. I care. I, I sweet talked the lady at the, at the um, you know, the 7 Eleven out of it and um, carefully cut it out. And I brought it in and just kind of casually showed it to him. And he lost his mind. He was like, okay, what, I got to have it. Whatever, whatever you want. And he, had, he, he actually didn't trade me his nicest good. And he had one that had just a little bit of a soft corner. And he traded me that because it was still the hottest card going in 86, um, uh, this card. So that was how I got my first good and rookie was uh, for free, basically. Okay. Safe to say you uh, came out good on that trade. The box card. Um, so uh, anyway, we'll uh, we'll have to circle back to this maybe at a future date. We didn't hit all of our uh, chase cards, but um, uh, we it's still a, fun. We had a bunch of sleeve cards, and I'll uh, I'll set up a uh, a wheel spin. And you know what we can throw into the wheel spin? Uh, from, Whoa. Our, from our last break out of the house packs, I still have that. So, um, so we. That's sweet. Yeah, we'll. Uh, I'll set up like maybe, I don't know, spin the wheel like five times. Um, so I'll set up like five lots, and uh, spin the wheel on a video and uh, do some giveaways and uh, just try to make everyone feel a little bit better. That's why I didn't want to charge for this break. Good know? stuff, man. Listen, this was a lot of fun, and uh, I'm sure we'll be breaking again during this quarantine. I mean, there's not a lot else to do. Um, do you want to see my my card that I was going to show? Oh, yes, or? yes, please. I, I think I think I know it, but go ahead. Let's see if we can sort of tease this. Hang on, I'll I'll make your uh, your screen bigger. It is a gem mint. Card number four hundred three of the USA baseball team, and that <laughs> is what a perfectly centered. 85 tops card looks like i don't think we saw one of those <laughs> no Corey snyder one of the uh, usa cards that we did not see that was the um that was the usa card to have when the second this out. is the this is the only graded card that i have ever bought in my entire collection and it's this the Corey snyder and that you know that's hard to find um uh I bought it for twenty five dollars like ten years ago, and now I see it. You don't ever see them pop up, but when they do, they're about like seventy bucks now. So, yeah, I've it's, seen them go over a hundred bucks. Um, that card. Yeah, because I mean, I it depends on the day and who's looking it up. Right. Um, but uh, you know, uh, Corey Snyder's been getting more popular every time we do one of these videos. <laughs> I think so. I think we're yeah. uh, we're we're Gary Veeing uh, Corey yeah. Snyder. I like and Gary V actually is a Corey Snyder fan. Is he? Are you kidding? I didn't yes, know that. Yes, he, <laughs> he made he posted one time. Name a player that you speculated on. Da da da. And his was Corey Snyder. Really? Wow. Yeah. So he knows Corey Snyder. Wow. So maybe you should tweet something to Gary V about your Corey Snyder collection. Yeah. Uh, well, I'll Instagram. I'm not. I'm still not on Twitter. But um. All right. He, he, all right well, best of luck to you, man. And uh, hit me up when you want to do the next one. I'm around. I got nothing but free time. Yeah. We're we're quarantined in, and uh, stay safe, Sue. Thank you again for hey, joining you too, us. Thank you, man. God bless you, man. And God bless everybody watching. Hope everybody's doing okay. Everyone, stay safe, and we'll see you soon. Thanks, Stu. Later, buddy. Bye.